Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm one of the operators of PreschoolLearningOnline.com and ActivitySchoolBus.com. I just wanted to share um, another bag that I borrowed from the Lending Library. Um, this one is a little science one about frogs and tadpoles and how tadpoles become frogs. Um, now just before I begin though, with any of the kits, that, uh, like I have quite a few videos up with these little kits that I've borrowed, um, from the lending library. These are just ideas, so if you can't find anything like this, don't worry. You can use any of the ideas that I talked about from my videos and any resources that you can find on our website. And again, if you're shopping around and you happen to see a toy frog or anything that looks sciencey, if it's a good price, it would be a good idea just to buy it because you'd be amazed at um, how you can use little different things around the classroom. So um, this one is about, like I said, frogs. Now the first thing it came with was um, some frog stamps and this talks about the life cycle of the frogs. So when I opened it up, um, this stamp here, it might be hard to see on the video, but um, this stamp here has all little eggs. So the eggs of the, um, that the frogs lay. And then the next stamp is the next stage. So when the eggs hatch into tadpoles, you know, so you can use a stamp pad with that. Then the third stamp is the tadpole when it gets its little legs, when it starts turning into the frog. And then the fourth stamp is this big one up here, and that's a full-size frog. So you can do different stories with that, or just have a little life cycle going of the stamps, and you can also let the children try and stamp, and just ask them to put um, the stamps like on a piece of paper in order um, that the frogs grow and hatch. So um, that's a really good, I a good activity for them to do as well. Um, and then another thing it came with is a whole bunch of books that are great to put in the library when you're talking about this type of theme. This is all about frogs, different types of frogs. This is on the wood frog. And this is tadpole and frog. So those are good ones because it shows the whole life cycle. And then um, this is another book about frogs. So, you know, you can put these in the, your library and the children can look at them on their own time. Then another thing it did come with is this um, pizza pan, which you can pick up at a dollar store or something like that, and turn it into a magnet board. Now, to buy the magnets, at a craft store or a dollar store, they should have the magnets and they'll be adhesive so you can just cut the little piece you need with a scissor, take the backing off and stick it to the back of a picture and then there you have your own uh, magnet storyboard. So I just picked a, a few of these ones, it, they, it came with a whole bag of like different types of frogs and stuff like that. So the ones that I picked out were just the simple ones that I would like to focus on. So. Here I have the tadpoles, so there's three tadpoles there, and then there was the tadpole when it's getting its legs, and then um, it has a frog, you know, when the tadpole turns into the frog, and I really found it neat because I found a little grasshopper in there, so you can talk about what frogs eat. And then I just found a couple different frogs, here's a red eye tree frog. And you don't even have to call it a red-eyed tree frog, you can just say that's a tree frog because it's very distinctive by their feet. And then um, I found another one in here, it's a frog with um, uh, the big, when their throat gets really big, when they make their sound, you know, ribbit, you can tell the kids, when you hear the frog say ribbit, their throat bubbles out like that. And it's something neat for them to learn and then they'll remember that every time they hear a frog croak. So that I thought was a really neat thing to have in the bag. And the last thing I thought was really cute was this puppet. It's a frog puppet, but when you transform it, you just put it inside out, it turns into a little tadpole, which I thought was really, really cute. So if you're talking to the kids about frogs turning into tadpoles, you can just be talking about the tadpole and then say, tadpoles get legs, and then when they grow really big, they turn into frogs. And then you have your frog. And then they'll, um, they'll uh, you know, put the two together. They'll uh, put them together, that 
a tadpole becomes a frog. They can see it together. They saw it changing. They can relate the two together. So um, that's just another little science theme that you can do on frogs and tadpoles and the life cycle of a frog. So um, I'll be back with a lot more videos. I have some art videos in mind, more cooking videos, and some more musical instrument videos. So stay tuned and I'll be back with more. Thanks.